Welcome to Starting Scripture, a reading of the Bible with Keturah. Today is day 166, and we are reading in the first book of Kings, chapter 3, and Psalm 101, which is in book 4. First book of Kings, chapter 3. Solomon asks for wisdom. Solomon made an alliance with Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and married one of his daughters. He brought her to live in the city of David until he could finish building his palace and the temple of the Lord and the wall around the city. At that time, the people of Israel sacrificed their offerings at local places of worship, for a temple honoring the name of the Lord had not yet been built. Solomon loved the Lord and followed all the decrees of his father, David, except that Solomon too offered sacrifices and burned incense at the local places of worship. The most important of these places of worship was at Gibeon. So the king went there and sacrificed 1,000 burnt offerings. That night, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream, and God said, What do you want? Ask, and I will give it to you. Solomon replied, You showed great and faithful love to your servant, my father David, because he was honest and true and faithful to you, and you have continued to show his great and faithful love this great and faithful love to him today by giving him a son to sit on his throne. Now, O Lord my God, you have made me king instead of my father David, but I am like a little child who doesn't know his way around. And here I am, in the midst of your own chosen people, a nation so great and numerous they cannot be counted. Give me an understanding heart so that I can govern your people well and know the difference between right and wrong. For who by himself is able to govern this great people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked for wisdom. So God replied, Because you have asked for wisdom in governing my people with justice, and have not asked for a long life, or wealth, or the death of your enemies, I will give you what you asked for. I will give you a wise and understanding heart, such as no one has ever or had or ever will have. And I will also give you what you did not ask for, riches and fame. No other king in all the world will be compared to you for the rest of your life. And if you follow me and obey my decrees and my commands as your father David did, I will give you a long life. Then Solomon woke up and realized it had been a dream. He returned to Jerusalem and stood before the Ark of the Lord's Covenant, where he sacrificed burnt offerings and peace offerings. Then he invited all his officials to a great banquet. Solomon judges wisely. Sometime later, two prostitutes came to the king to have an argument settled. Please, my lord, one of them began. This woman and I live in the same house. I gave birth to a baby while she was with me in the house. Three days later, this woman also had a baby. We were alone. There were only two of us in the house. But her baby died during the night when she rolled over on it. Then she got up in the night and took my son from beside me while I was asleep. She laid her dead child in my arms and took mine to sleep beside her. And in the morning, when I tried to nurse my son, he was dead. But when I looked more closely in the morning light, I saw that it wasn't my son at all. Then the other woman interrupted. It certainly was your son, and the living child is mine. No, the first woman said. The living child is mine and the dead one is yours. And so they argued back and forth before the king. Then the king said, let's get the facts straight. Both of you claim the living child is yours. And each said, says that the dead one belongs to the other. All right, bring me a sword. So a sword was brought to the king. Then he said, cut the living child in two and give half to one woman and half to the other. Then the woman, who was the real mother of the living child, and who loved him very much, cried out, Oh no, my lord, give her the child. Please do not kill him. But the other woman said, All right, he will be neither yours nor mine. Divide him between us. Then the king said, Do not kill the child, but give him to the woman who wants him to live, for she is his mother. When all Israel heard the king's decision, the people were in awe of the king for they saw the wisdom God had given him for rendering justice. Psalm 101 
a Psalm of David. I will sing of your love and justice, Lord. I will praise you with songs. I will be careful to live a blameless life. When, when will you come to help me? I will lead a life of integrity in my own home. I will refuse to look at anything vile and vulgar. I hate all who deal crookedly. I will have nothing to do with them. I will reject perverse ideas and stay away from every evil. I will not tolerate people who slander their neighbors. I will not endure conceit and pride. I will search for faithful people to be my companions. Only those who are above reproach will be allowed to serve me. I will not allow deceivers to serve in my house, and liars will not stay in my presence. My daily task will be to ferret out the wicked and free the city of the Lord from their grip. And now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Dear Lord, direct our paths this day through your Holy Spirit. Your child, your servant is listening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.